Welcome to episode 330 of the Clive Barker podcast. Uh, we're returning to Isordorex in the, in our Dungeons and Dragons game, Jericho Squad 77. After the destruction of Midian, after the unraveling of the fugue, after the fall of the unbeheld and the reconciliation of the five dominions, the Jericho organization has expanded and spread itself thin, guarding the breaches and investigating anything that comes through. This Dungeons and Dragons game is the story of one of those teams. Let's begin. off squad 77 had left gregorius's false hell having made a deal to deliver cassius briar to hell in in the place of ralph with chertovir putting up his own soul as collateral now at the debate of the reconciled council uh, where chur's brother drovo seems to be winning uh, with the help of some astute questions from the audience and magical manipulation from jonathan uh, cassius decided it's time for the council to end and eliminate uh, opposing voices. Yeah, so much for strategy. I was like, uh, let's not try to, you know, interfere with the debate. And it's like Jonathan did nothing but interfere with the debate in a really <laughs> right. bad way. Made everything completely worse. What? Is that river supposed to be shaped like a woman because it's the goddess? No, it's just, that's just random. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Rob. Rob drew that on there, and the, the the river. When you put the river on the this mapping program, it kind of makes little random patterns. Cool. Okay. No, that, that's cool. Okay. Uh, yeah. So so where we're at, um, Cassius uh, sort of just just shook his head, and he was he's frustrated, and he said, "Okay, well, I guess at this point, uh, there's no there's there's no point in in uh, even have trying to deal with you anymore." And uh, he, he puts on a, his helmet, and uh, and he whistles, and um, everybody roll for initiative because you start to see enemies appearing. Ralph uh, rolled a sixteen. Dad. I rolled a fourteen. Okay. I got a ten. I rolled a fourteen, and then I have initiative plus two, so I guess sixteen. Okay. Yeah, I rolled an eleven plus three, fourteen. You see a tentacled creature coming, rising up out of the water. All right. So first, uh, first up, you see the um, the Ethax, who are supposed to be the guards, uh, seem to be uh, looking hostile. Okay. So this Ethax uh, runs up to Investigator Riley and starts attacking her. Damn. It's straight up. He's got his two daggers he's going to attack with. That's a pretty bold move. Attacking a member of the council. All three of those hit. So, so she takes um, 12 damage. Uh, she gets... He slashes her three times with his uh, sword and she looks shocked. She wasn't even prepared for, for uh, the, the guards attacking her. The two daggers, right? Not sword. Daggers. Yeah. yeah. She got shanked. This one here goes up to uh, uh, up to Drovo and attacks him. Hey, that's my brother. And they all all three of his attacks miss. Drovo du uh, do ducks and dodges out of all of them. He seemed a little more prepared. That's my boy Drovo. All right, and where I think there were four of them. So this one's coming up to um, Musette and attacking Musette. 
13 was the highest. What what what's Musette's armor class? Uh, 17. Okay, so he missed all three against uh, against you. You kind of were able to duck down uh, below the bleachers, and and uh, he missed all three of his attacks. Runs up here and starts guarding uh, Cassius. And there's one in the back here. Moves over towards Bentley. I think he hit one time. My fuzzy friend. Yeah. I want to watch the cat from space with you. Poor damage. And that's their turn. And next is is uh, Riley. So she says, what's the matter with you? And she, she starts attacking back. Pulls out uh, uh, her massive mace. And... 19. So she hits him. So she goes smash, smash, smash. Okay, yeah, she smashes him in the shoulder. But he doesn't seem to uh, doesn't seem to notice. Well, they're pretty tough. Yeah. And uh, and next is Huzzah. She stands up and she says, "Stop this immediately!" Looks like she jumped on the table there. No, Rob did that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would jump on but the yeah, table. But yeah, actually, too. that's not bad. Yeah, she does jump up on the table. And she says, stop this immediately. So she's going to cast Moonbeam on Cassius. He does 4d10 damage to him. And every, everything in a five-foot radius around him. So that also is going to include the Ethac. The big Moonbeam kind of comes out of the sky and, and blasts him. The Nullian X stand up. This one has got Ralph in front of him, right? This Nolian act right here. I think, is that Ralph in front of No, Ralph is down there. That's not Ralph. I'm over here by Zoe. Yeah. Yeah, he's behind me. Okay, so he's going to attack that guy with his knives. And he hits and he kills that guy in front of him. Oh, whoa. Can you just point him out to me which one we're talking about? This uh, Nelly and Ack right here. Ah, okay. He yeah, killed that killed guy, the yellow guy, guy with in, the in, yeah, in the gray suit. Okay. So this one is going to also is going to attack Muzak with his knives. Ah, nice. Jesus. That's bad seating arrangement right there, Muzak. One one of them missed, uh, but the other was a critical hit. Never sit in the aisles when you're about to get into a fight. So you uh, you take 14 damage. He does a big slash across your uh, across your your arm. He's Louise, man. Okay, bastard. And this one stands up and attacks this guy in the uh, in the red robe. And he kills him. <laughs> so that guy's dead. They didn't expect to be attacked today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I think Cassius is trying to take out the, the whole like council thing. So he doesn't read it and need anybody else. So he's like, yeah, these guys are all disposable. Okay. That's and uh, that's my. It- it's Willem's turn. Uh, R- Rob, is he on here? Or probably not, because he was still just a spider in in, uh, in your pocket. But he jumps out and grows to his full size. And all of all of your weapons and stuff kind of drop off of him, all the ones that weren't uh, concealed. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, you, you can see them kind of lying on the ground by him. Yoink. Imagine <clears throat> Willem, like shaking like a dog and all of the weapons just falling out <laughs> clang, clang. so yeah. where's Chert where's Chert over here on here because he would come out by Chert over here. Next to I, me. I'm, I'm next to Musette in front of Ralph I'm already like turned towards that Nullianak oh okay yeah yeah so yeah so he kind of pops up and flies over here oh there he is and, and he is going to attack that Nullianak <laughs> Actually, no, he's not. He uh, after he drops all the weapons, he's gonna run straight at Cassius. Dang! Oh yeah, right. Yeah, that's his. That's his thing. 
It's his main objective. Yeah. And he's going to shoot at him with a web. Yeah, he uh, that hits. So Cassius is is trapped in in the web. Okay, uh, Drovo is next. So he has this. There's this creature coming up out of the water near him that he doesn't want to be by. So he's gonna circle around here. Is it a bad creature? Or? Do you want to? Are you are you asking it? Do you want to ask no, it on no, your turn? No, 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 no. Yeah, okay, no, never mind. Does it seem to be friendly? You, you could make a perception check on your turn. Okay. It hasn't had a turn yet, so you don't know what it's doing. <laughs> so Drovo pulls out his silken sword and makes two attacks against the Ethak. And next is Jonathan, who is continuing to circle up in the sky up above everyone. And then Ralph's turn. Ralph's turn. <clears throat> hmm. I want to... This guy's going to attack. No, this guy right here. Who's him? The Nolianak? The Nolianak. That's in front of uh, Muset. Muset. Okay. I want to hit him with Eldritch Blast. Okay. Uh, roll to hit. Ah! <laughs> uh, four. <laughs> Total? Uh, plus six. So six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Yeah, that, that missed. Damn. You recognize these things, but most of you are not really sure from where. Uh, but um, but Churduvir uh, would recognize them as the righteous up here uh, behind the, the council. Righteous? So, yeah. You, the the, uh, the tentacled worm looking things that, that uh, float in the oh, air. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I remember that from my nightmare. And uh, they're they're uh, sort of acolytes of, of um, the unbeheld. Oh my God! This is a lot of enemies. So it swings a tentacle at uh, at Riley, and it it uh, misses really badly. And actually, it in fact it got a natural one. So I need to pull up the chart. See what what it does to itself. <laughs> It's his weapon or his uh, tentacle kind of wraps around a chair and he's got a chair stuck on his tentacle and he can't get it off. <laughs> <laughs> and this one attacks co coaxial Tasco and it missed. And this one is attacking I forget. Oh, a Crete Friedly. Oh, let's see. And that hits so she takes uh 10 bludgeoning damage jeez and she's being lifted up in the air and this one uh floats over towards huzzah and grabs at her and missed okay All right, there's a lot of things to manage in here. Okay, now the um, Coaxial Tasco is going to make a strength saving throw to avoid being grappled. And he does not succeed. And next is Chertovir's turn. Coaxial Tasco has a son called HDMI Tasco. Uh, let's see, I that cast... I cast, I don't care. I cast mage armor and grab my sword off the ground. Um, okay. What? Do I have time to do anything else here? Or do I just. Uh, I think mage armor is an action, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So I cast mage armor and grab my sword. Okay. Well, mage armor lasts for eight hours. So if you want to, I mean, you, if, if, it would have made sense to have done it before you arrived. Yeah, I know. I, I don't yeah, I think mean, I if, did that. Okay. Right? I don't think I did that. Um, I'm trying to find mage armor here. In but my I'm spells. saying if, if it, I, it would have made sense for you to have done that. So if you if you want to say that you did, that's fine. Oh, 
Okay, cool. My AC becomes uh, 13 plus my dexterity modifier. 16. Yeah, so I get uh, 16 armor class instead of 13. Yep. And do I get to do I get to pretend like I did this before I went in? Yeah, and you, okay. you can click on the armor class, and, and I think there's a customize button. Oh, yeah, there is. Okay. M- Musette, uh, what do you want to do? Hey, um, is Nolianak and Othak here? They, Othak, yeah. They're like literally right like, next to me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use Acid Splash on them, which is a cantrip. It says you hurl a bubble of acid, choose one or two creatures you see within range. If you choose two, they must be within five feet of each other. Okay. Yeah, that would work. Okay, cool. Um, and... Do, do they make a saving throw to get out of it? Uh, oh, attack, save, dex, dex 14. 14, all right. Yeah. So the Ethac um, and the Nullianac. Right. So the Nullianac looks like he got hit. Okay. So it says that the damage... Wait, so level? yeah, he got a twelve. So I think that failed. The other yeah. one, the the other one jumped out. The Ethac kind of hopped out of the way in time. Okay. Two d six damage. Yeah, it says two d six. Okay. So okay. Yep. So roll two six sided dice. I got eleven. Okay. Wow. Nice. A Crete uh, manages to wriggle out of the uh, out of the tentacles of the righteous and and uh, drops down back onto the ground. This tentacled creature. Uh, comes up out of the, comes up out of the water, and it reaches out and grabs Drobo, because it can reach for ten feet. So he thought he was out of its reach, but he's not. And it, but it missed with two tentacle, one tentacle, but it's got two more. Oh, it missed all three. He's re- he's been really lucky today. <laughs> and Bentley sees this, and he stands up. And jumps over, where is Bentley? He's right here. He kind of jumps over the pews and goes to here and grabs his rifle and starts firing at the tentacled monster. I can roll for Benton. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you want to. 16. That one missed. And he gets two attacks with his automatic pistol. I thought he had a rifle, but I guess he doesn't. Yeah, he missed again. He got a 12. Oh, okay. So he fired twice, uh, but the bullets kind of slid off of its slimy skin. Now it's Cassius's turn. He is bound up in a web. We got him right where we want him. But he rips the web apart and and, uh, manages to break out. He starts up his blade song. And uh, you see he's swinging his his sword around and and, uh, in a blur that Chernobyl would recognize. He's, he's started up his blade song. All right, but yeah, you can go ahead and go now. Okay. What I would like to do is I didn't like Ethax C there jumping out of the way and avoiding getting hit, so I'm going to do Guiding Bolt on him. 16 to hit. Just don't do anything with splash damage. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that hits. And 15 damage. All right. Yay. And uh, I'd like to do a bonus action if I could. Okay. Uh, healing word on Musette. Okay. Oh, yeah. Thirteen. Wow, you get so you get 13 points back. Musette. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> you, you just put a, 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 like looks like a laser gun on Bentley. Okay, perfect. Yay. And that, that's the end of round one. This one's going to take another swing at Riley. One of them hits. No, I actually missed all three. Okay, this one... is going to attack Willem. Wow. And it missed all three of those attacks. 
And this one is going to attack Chertovir. Of course. No, Drovo, I mean Dovir. Oh, okay. Not Chertovir. The other Dovir. Yeah. Uh, missed. Missed all three. <laughs> and then there's this one behind Ralph. It's going to attack Ralph. And, and okay, when you wear it. So, yeah. So he yeah. just has disadvantage on all, every attack. Yeah, but I yeah I have yeah. It, I have it on. Yeah, you were wearing it when you walked in. Okay, so he missed one, missed another one with a natural one, oh, and boy, cool. everybody's them, a bunch of stormtroopers today. One of them hit. Bastard. I know. Just because so, you said stormtrooper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you set yourself up. So the one that missed. As, because of his critical failure, you get one free attack on him right now. Me? Yeah. What, what, what do you want to do? Infestation. Ooh. Well, it's a melee attack, not like a oh, melee attack is what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. You can just swing a weapon at him. I don't Curious know what you have him. on you. If you've had, did you even go and grab your weapons? Uh, I did not grab my weapons. You could so bite him though. Bite this motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 16 plus... Okay, you, you rolled a what? What did you roll? 20. 20. Oh, yeah, that totally hits. Yeah. Okay, well, what's the damage? Is it just the 1d6? 1d6. Okay. Plus 1. Oh, damn it. Uh, well, 1d6 yeah. plus 1. So it's 5. Okay, um, 5 damage? Yeah. I didn't expect to get to do that. Yeah. Yeah. It was because he got that critical failure. And he also still hurt you. So I got to roll that right. damage. Do we have a big pile of weapons anywhere? I mean, where, where did they fall? They're, they're, um, they're uh, in that? by the river, in between the pews in the river, like near I next to Bentley. I can't make it to that yet. I'm blocked. No, it. not it. Yeah, it's not really your turn. You just got a free attack because he's fumbled so badly. Uh, you take four damage from his one attack that hit you. And he just got hit pretty hard by, um, I think, was it a guiding bolt? No, mm -hmm. it was a, yeah. So he's going to attack. So I just realized the Incredible Hulk is sitting way back there in the bleachers, next to the stairs. The <laughs> yeah, <way>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so he's got two hits. Thir so you take thirteen damage, Zoe. He slashes you a couple of times with his uh, with his daggers, his long knives. Your cold, emotionless face doesn't betray the pain that you're feeling right now. <laughs> like, mm, stoic. Riley. I think that this thing failed to pick her up, and now she's uh, now she's fighting back. She's got two things against her, though. But she's going to, going to attack the Ethac with her mace again. And she missed. Yeah, she's still on top of the table trying to set order in the yeah <laughs> in the council meeting. That's way past that. He's gonna jump down off the table and move over here behind Cassius. It's on like Donkey Kong. Right to here. And that thing got an attack of opportunity, but it missed. He creates a shard of ice and flings it at him. So he has to make a dexterity saving throw to avoid it. And he met, and uh, he didn't make it, so she hits him. 10 damage from that. Melianac. It's their turn again. So I would say not all of these crowd members are, they're not really set for me to move them around, I guess, but. Um, they're shocked the, the, in their chairs. Well, no, yeah, they're, they're, they, they all ran for it yeah. when it was the, at the end of the, the last turn. After two of them got killed, they're like, I'm getting yeah. out of here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Rob is taking them away. Yeah. I'm getting the hell out of here. So this one looks over at Bentley and he does. Um... Do the Nullion Axe also shoot like lightning from their heads or something? 
yeah, that's what he's that's what he's doing. Uh, yeah. it, it, he he uh, he he launches this this light attack at at Bentley, and that hits. No, Bentley. And he takes four Jeez. radiant damage, and he's got more problems after that. Oh no! Where am I, Bentley? I've grown attached to these guys. Got to make a saving throw. Oh, he got a natural one on the saving throw. So he takes another nine damage. Yeah, this is not. Is this this uh, this light kind of surges through his body and starts eating his insides? Oh my God! Bentley. So he he falls down onto his knees and is is uh, screaming. And so oh, this one here, it's going to attack Musette with his knives. And they both hit. Fifteen. Uh, so you take fifteen damage from his slashes with his knives. This one is going to shoot at Ralph with this uh, radiant blight that they do with disadvantage. So a nineteen would hit, I think, right? For Ralph. Yeah. Uh, yeah, my armor class is 15. Okay. So you take... From the first hit, wow, you take 11 damage. And then make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Constitution. A uh, nine. Okay, yeah, so you failed. You take huh? another eight. Another eight damage. Another on top eight. of the 11. On top of the 11? Yeah. So 19 total. Okay. Yeah. Oh wait. Oh, you, you you can use reactions to. Yeah. Oh, it's reactions. I think, but some of them are only to melee attacks. Oh yeah, I have a uh, reaction if possible to use. Uh, Misty escape. Once per short rest, when you take a damage, you can use your reaction to turn invisible and teleport up to 60 feet to an unoccupied space that you can see. Okay. And I remain yeah. invisible until the start of my next turn. Okay, so yeah, you can go uh, 60 feet away. And 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Boom. There's okay. Ralph. All right, and, and invisible. And I'm invisible. Wait, is that yeah. 60? Is that, oh, is that 40? That's 40. Yeah, that's 40. Okay, there I am. Oh, right behind Cassius. Okay. Yes, sir. Awesome. <laughs> and it's Willem's turn. And Willem is uh, going to bite at Cassius. And he can do that twice now. Because Willem's gone up some levels, too. Okay, so one of them hits. So he takes seven damage. And he makes needs to make a, poison, a saving throw against poison. And he failed. So he's going to also take poison damage. He takes 10 more poison damage. He's not looking too good. And now it's Drobo's turn. He's going to attack this Ethak again. Natural 20. He got a critical hit with his ribbon sword. 16 damage. Oh, yeah. And next is Cassius's turn. And he's feeling a, feeling a little like he's, uh, he's getting beat up here. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> And I think probably his biggest concern is the spider in front of him. So he's going to uh, pull out his sword and, and uh, cast Searing Smite on it. So that adds 7d6, 11 damage to uh, Willem. And he also added Searing Smite, which would have done a huge amount of fire damage, but Willem is, is uh, immune to fire. <laughs> okay. Wah, wah. Yeah. And next is Jonathan's turn. I don't I don't see Brant on here. All right. Well, we'll uh, he he's holding an action right now, I guess. Ralph's turn. Um, I would like to use vampiric touch on Cassius right in front of me. Uh, the touch of your shadow wreath hand can siphon life force from others to heal your wounds, make a melee spell attack against a creature within your reach. One oh, wow. On a hit on a hit 
The target takes a 3d6 uh, neurotic damage, and you regain necrotic? hit points. Okay. And you regain hit points equal to half the amount of neurotic damage dealt. Until awesome. The ends, until the spell ends, you can you, make. You the, also appeared invisible behind him, so yep. I, I I would say you have advantage to hit him because he how how is he going to dodge when you're invisible and behind him? So he exactly. doesn't know. You're you're going to appear after the end of this turn, but right now you're still invisible. Correct. Yeah, so you can roll twice and take the higher number for your attack roll. 13. 18. Okay, eight, 18 is the total? 24. Yeah, that hits. Yeah, 24 okay. is total. Okay, so yeah, roll your, uh, roll your necrotic damage. 3d6. 4. Ah! 3. 2. Wow. So that's a uh, ten nine. or nine. Four, three, two. Okay. Five, six. So seven. nine, and you get yeah. half of that in uh, healing, right? Yeah. So five. So, we'll round it up. Do I put that on my D and D Beyond? Yeah, uh, on uh, yes. Okay. So plus five. <laughs> Cassius is looking really hurt. By the way, he's, <laughs> he's kind of disappointed because he's got all these cool things he can do. And he hasn't really been able to do much of anything so far. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Zoe is next. Okay. Well, me and Ethex C seem to have a love-hate relationship here, so... <laughs> I missed the love part. <coughs> so did I. Um... <laughs> Okay, so let's go with. Well, actually, since we got a couple of bad guys there, um, I got spirit guardians last time I leveled up, and that protects any number of creatures I can see to be unaffected by it. Now, does it have to go out the full fifteen feet, or just for? Is no, that the no, yeah, that's that's. Just, uh, wait, wait, is is it? What's the spell again? Sorry, I was. It's uh, spirit guardians. It says you call four spirits to protect you. They flit around you to a distance of fifteen feet for the duration. Uh, yeah. When you cast this spell, you can designate any number of creatures you can see to be unaffected by it, which of course would be my buddy there. So um, yeah, it's a fifteen foot radius around you. That oh. and anything that you anything you want to hurt in that radius, you you can hurt with it. Because I want to hurt hey. them, but it's, they're there to protect me. So yeah. So let me go ahead. I'll go, and I want to do these uh, the ethac and the no, okay no, thingy. And it's a concentration spell, and it stays up every round after you cast it. Coolness. <laughs> okay. And I believe that they take the damage at the start of their turn. Okay. I think I don't think it I don't think it hurts them right away when you cast it. Yeah, so when they start their turns inside of the circle, uh, they have to make the saving throw or they take three d eight damage. Cool. It, did you cast it oh, at, at uh, its base level at third level or did you cast it higher? Uh, it's third level. Okay, so yeah, it'll be three d eight damage when they start their turns. Cool. Okay, and and Rob, can you put a put the the circle on there? Actually, um, Jonathan Livingston Seagull is next because you haven't uh, you've missed a few turns circling around up above. Yeah, you know, I had to get a lay of the land first. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you're and you're inside of a flock of seagulls. So there's seagulls everywhere. Uh, Rob, mm -hmm. which one is is Jonathan? This one should be mine. Oh, okay. A bunch of guys with black emo hair flocked in front of their eyes. Pretty much, and and uh, and, and um, everything. Basically, all the all the guards and the and the Nullianax and a, a, a tentacled monster from inside of the river all started attacking, and they're they're targeting the they're targeting the um, the members and the audience. <laughs> what about these worms? Those are the um, yeah they're they're attacking the they're they snuck up behind they appeared behind the uh, okay the, the yeah behind the council and they're trying to grab them and drag them up into the air and drop them on the ground 
They're the righteous. Yeah. Well, I'm going yeah. to cast a chromatic orb of acid at this one. Okay. And I'm going to use a second level spell slot. Is that a saving throw or is that a, a it spell It is an attack roll. Okay. You got to beat a 12. Uh, well, I did. What is it? 46. I rolled a 19. Oh, okay. Yeah, that hits. 11 plus 9. 20. Yeah, 20 that one acid is, damage. That one is dead. <laughs> yeah. It just melts. And Good morning, everybody. It falls on the, falls on the floor and, and rides. <laughs> I, I can't do that much more, though, so. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. And, um, and I Zoe guess I'll just... Went. Start swooping over here and squawking in a uh, an inspirational manner. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, and now it's the righteous's turn. So this one, I think the one that has grabbed coaxial, is going to fly him up uh, another ten feet in the air. And this one is going to fly is going to try to grab onto Riley again but it missed and this one is going to fly how far up are you uh, is Jonathan um, I was thinking about 10 feet above the, the the risers yeah wherever okay so he flies yeah, 10 thinking... feet 10 feet up but he's still got another 10 feet to go to reach you. Exactly. I was uh, flying exactly out of his reach. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you have to ask. All right. No, Good I was deal. picturing about 10 feet. We'll go with that. Okay. And then it is um, a Crete is trying to get out of its grip. Didn't make it. Okay, so a Crete flies up another 10 feet. So... 20 feet up right now. And it's Chertovir's turn. All right. Okay. <clears throat> so I've got my sword in one hand and uh, Willem dropped the, the weapons that we had. So I yeah, grabbed my... Yeah, they're, they're right next to Bentley up there. Oh. And, and you already had your ribbon sword with you. Okay. Oh, yeah, because it was my kind of, you know, religious thing. Um... Can I jump over there, grab my, uh, grab my machine gun, my automatic rifle? Yeah. Okay. Do I still enough? Do I still have a action to to do something and attack? Yeah. Yeah, okay. you do. All right. So I'm gonna, I'm I'm gonna go medieval on this guy, and I'm gonna fire my automatic rifle at the Nullianak, uh to the side of Musette. Oh, okay. Okay, All so right. let, let me go ahead and says here, uh, rifle, I'm going to roll to hit. It's not very good because you, you, you're not very good with it. Okay, well, wow. I got a 20 plus 3, so I got a yeah. 23. Did, did, did you roll it? So you rolled a natural 20, so you do double damage. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so, yeah, okay, so got... roll your damage and then double it. Okay, and I thought he was we have good to use that. The, the critical hit charge. Yeah, I saw that that it went from two d eight to four d eight. Yeah, so so yeah. despite the fact that you are uh, that you're you're not trained oh. to use that rifle, you okay. um, instinctively just aimed aimed perfectly right at this Nully and X face. Nice. Well, he's not that far from. Him. Yeah. So I got my four sided die, and I'm gonna launch it uh, four times. Okay. Uh, uh, eight sided die. Sorry. Eight sided die. That's first attack, eight. If you don't believe me, there's the eight. No, I believe uh, you. Uh, <laughs> wow. Gonna launch it second time. No, come on. Okay, second time, two, because I got another eight, but it's like, it didn't really bounce. 
Eight and two, 10, uh, now a six, that's 16 and a one. So that's 17 plus three, that's 20, 20 hit points. It, and the, you already, you already doubled it. No, I, I, I rolled it four times. Three. Oh, damage. okay. If you want to keep that, that's fine. What, what was the total? You said 20 damage. Yes. Okay. It was 17 plus. Two. And that is, uh, all right, take that, Nullianak. Yeah. I'm trying to hit my buddies and the, my team. I was like, let's just grab the automatic rifle. This I was like, oh, no, not the automatic rifle. You can't hit with that. And then and then you got a critical hit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting better. Yeah. Yeah, I would say probably, even though you haven't been trained, you're starting to get proficient in it anyway. I've been, okay. I've been checking out all my other teammates using their, you know, rifles. Yeah. Uh, it's Musette's turn. Okay, so um, we're still dealing with this Nolianak and the Othek, Ethek. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and I'm there's another do... Ethek behind you guys, too, that was okay. attacking Ralph before. Okay. Well, I'm going to uh, do Acid Splash again on those two. Uh um, okay, and it's uh, there. Uh, it's the dexter dexterity saving throw for them is fourteen. Okay. Um, and then the damage is two d six. And this is um, the Nolianek and the Ethak. Yep, Nolianek and Ethak C. And a ten for the Ethak. So I think the Ethak failed. Yeah, but the Nolianek squeezed by. Okay, yeah. and my damage that I rolled was nine. Oh, okay. Yep, he uh, he got burned. Okay, anything else that uh, Musette wants to do? Nope. Okay, he, he managed to wriggle himself out, and he falls and takes, uh, oh my god, ten damage. Ooh. So actually, yeah, he's unconscious <clears throat> on the table. The Aboleth turns towards Bendley, and it's going to, and it just stares at him. Rude. Yeah. But uh, Bendley got a, cr a critical, uh, critical success on his saving throw. So Bendley is not enslaved, and it's now Bendley's turn, and he's mad, and he's going to open fire on it. He missed. Hey, he gets two attacks though. Uh, that hits. Yeah, that hits. Roll the damage. Ten damage. Okay. And you don't have to just use the gun. You you can do whatever you want with him. Is he a spell guy? Yeah, he's uh he does have some spells. So the uh, Ethax, I mean. I have them statted as bandit captains, but they're Ethax. Okay. And this one is attacking Riley still with his log knives. But actually, his cat, his uh, boss is getting really hurt. So he's instead of attacking Riley, he's going to move over here and attack uh, Ralph. But everybody that but Riley gets an attack of opportunity with her mace first. Hmm. So. So she hit him. She hit Ralph. No, she she's uh, she's attacking him as he's trying to get away from get out of combat with her. Mm. So she hit that. She hit uh, the Ethac while he was leaving her. Oh. Oh, Ethac. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Yeah. So he take he takes six damage. Not a lot, but. But where are these and guys? And now yeah. he's now he's mm -hmm. attacking Ralph. Ah, with disadvantage. <laughs> ah, ah. Oh. Miss and Good. critical miss. And uh, that one might hit. Would have been a critical hit, except it's disadvantage. So 11 plus 5, 16 to 16 hit. Yeah. Okay, so one hit, and but he got a critical failure before that. Just like what happened to you last time. 
Right. I can't do that again. And uh, he banged his his knife into the ground and kind of stunned himself. So okay. that lasted the, the the next attack after that didn't hit you because he just he got stunned so he wasn't able to attack anymore. So I have no damage. Yeah, and he's stunned for his for the whole next round. He can't move. Oh. Oh man. Yeah, if so you guys can you... remember that, that'll help me a lot because there's a lot of stuff to keep track of on here. <laughs> All right. Well, okay. Anyway. This one's going to attack Drovo again. There are two hits. 11 damage to Drovo. Drovo's getting sliced up a little bit. Okay, and it's the start of this guy's turn, so he has to make a wisdom saving throw. Right? Um, I get, was it 13? He failed, whatever it is, because he got a two. <laughs> so how much, so, um, so Zo from Zoe, how much damage does he take? Yeah, 3d8. Okay, can you roll the damage? And uh, Rob, can you put a circle there so we can see if where the oh. what that's affecting? I thought I did, but it's not. Oh, okay. Thirteen, 13 damage. Okay. Ooh. Zoe's on fire today. Yeah. <laughs> there going. we go. So he does not like being in this circle, and so he's going to try to get out of it. <laughs> you can try. And uh, that means everybody that's close to him gets an attack of opportunity. Damn. What are you going to do? So, um, yeah. Musette and Zoe get to attack him one time. Just with a regular melee attack with your weapons. If you okay. have them on you. I don't know if you've taken the time to, to grab them. I have not yet. Okay. Well, you uh, your dagger is like your holy symbol, so I think yeah. you kept that. Yeah, I did. So you, you, you have that. So you can stab him with your dagger. Is that the plus two one? The dagger plus two? Uh, I think yes. Okay. Okay, to hit, I got 22. Yeah, that definitely hits. And damage, eight. Okay, so you, you get a good slash on him. And um, yeah, I picked up my rifle because when Willem shook it out, it was I was lucky and it landed by my feet. Okay. So and that's what happened. Um, <laughs> okay, sorry. So um, wait, and excuse me, of my pistol, not a yeah. rifle. Yeah. Um, okay, I got uh, sixteen. Uh, it's the plus five. Okay, so I got twenty-one. That hits. Um, and then I get two d six plus three, six. Two, what is that? Eight, eleven, total. Okay. And it's mainly we'll let it go, but it's mainly supposed to be melee weapons, like things that you swing, you know, at at them. Okay. Yeah. So eleven damage. He's <coughs> already beat up. And then this other one runs up behind Zoe. And attacks. Doesn't he take damage? Yeah, because he's within that circle. Huh. Yeah, he does. Well, okay, he's got to make a saving throw. It, it's a wisdom saving throw, right? So he got a 13. What does he need to get? Um, hang on. 15. Oh, okay. So he failed. He takes so. Um, how much damage does he take? Do we just use the same amount again? Uh, I've, yeah, it was thirteen that I rolled okay, last. We can, yeah. We'll just do thirteen. Okay. Well, that's it for the ethax. Mm -hmm. All right. And also, their speed is half. Oh, so he got he While didn't get in that. The he he got to about here then. Riley walks up to this uh, behind this Ethak and uh, casts Charm Person on him, and he fails. So um, he just looks at her confused, and she says, "You don't want to fight anymore." And he just kind of sits down on the ground. 
30, okay, she's gonna do mass cure wounds. And it's a 60 foot radius from a point that she, or a 30 foot radius from a point that she chooses. I'm trying to think of how could she get her, or her, the most of her friends in there. She would definitely want to heal Drovo. And she's, she can definitely see that uh, Ralph is hurt pretty badly. So she's going to center it around where um, Drovo and so that it can heal Drovo and Ralph. Sweet. Rob, can you put a, uh, a 30 foot circle in between them? There we go. Wow. So she wants that to heal Ralph and Drovo. And then anybody else that, that is, seems like is, is her friend. She's not really... And Riley, too. Oh, just her friends, right? Yeah, the people that she knows for sure are her friends. There's a lot of chaos going on, and she oh, doesn't know everybody. That is a great spell. So, Rob, can you... Yeah, can you move it over to uh, to the left? Yeah, there we go. Like that. She she knows um, Chertovir, too, being Drovo's brother. And having asked a lot of questions in the... Well, I actually don't think I've been hurt yet. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm 45 out of 45 hit points. Well, she also knows Bentley. Yeah. Okay, so she's healing Drovo, Bentley, Ralph, and Riley. So 2d8. Uh, everybody in that circle gets 11 hit points back. Drovo is healed up all the way. And a Crete is awake again. I'm gonna say no on healing Willow. Oh, Bentley. I did his one. Oh, you did? Okay, he's back up to 28. Okay. Yay! Uh, it says 43. Oh, okay, I just needed to reload. There we go. Okay, yeah, that's the end of her turn. And the Nullian Axe are gonna be next. So this one is going to hurl its Radiant Blight at um, Zoe. Does a 14 hit, Zoe? What's your armor class? I'm getting there. Uh, armor class is 14. Oh, okay. So you did get, you did get hit. So you take um, seven Radiant damage and then make a Constitution saving throw. Eight. <laughs> Okay, the sort of light lightning stuff gets inside of your mouth, and you take an additional eleven points of damage. Oh my god, I'm down to six. <laughs> oh. Save me, somebody. Okay. And this Nullianak <clears throat> attacks Chertovir with his long knives. All right. I look at my gun and I say, I like this thing. <laughs> and so he, he, he got a 20 to hit. So one of them missed and one of them hit you. <sighs> okay. How many hit so points? So you take you... Uh, seven damage. Okay. Seven damage. Let me take that out. And it's Willem's turn. He's going to bite Cassius again. One of them hits and one of them misses. So 11 damage from the bite. Well, Cassius is in bad shape. And then he's got to make a saving throw against the poison again. He failed. So he's taking another 2d8 poison damage. <clears throat> so, eight poison. He's, uh, he's looking in really, really bad shape. That's Willem's turn, and now it's Drovo's turn. He's attacking this Ethac again. And they both hit with his silken sword. 19 damage to that guy. But he got two two hits on him. Next is Cassius's turn. Um, he's beat up and hurt and poisoned. <laughs> I don't uh, think this is going how he planned. Yeah. He's got a last ditch maneuver he's gonna do. Pulls out his uh, sword and uh, speaks into it and disappears from there and he peers up here on this tower. How does he get to have a teleporting sword? I teleported. 
Yeah, you went invisible. <laughs> and invisible. And, and Andy teleported. I went total nightcrawler. <laughs> bam. Did you say bam? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Does anybody right. remember when Kitty Pride had a plushie of Nightcrawler? No. <laughs> and called him Banff? No. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. Okay, it's Jonathan's turn. Uh, I'm going to uh, use my movement to gain altitude. Okay. So I should be at about 60 feet now. Okay. And uh, because I don't like him getting away, I'm going to cast Firebolt at Cassius. Okay. Uh, Shells. Rolled a hit. Yeah, you know, this goes. Uh, nine. Nope. So we're going to miss. Okay. And then I'll call loudly to start trying to gather the seagulls to me. Okay. Or maybe <laughs> maybe I'll get a good Clive Barker moment and the flock of seagulls will tear him apart as his last. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my turn. Okay. Um, how? Yeah. I guess that. Yeah. Rob, I can't move the seagulls, but Rob, can you can yeah, put them over there? So they head over towards you, and they'll get to do that on their next and turn. They drag, drag yeah. so far away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so Ralph. Sorry. Yeah. Ralph's turn. Okay. So the guy you were attacking just disappeared. I noticed that. Yeah. And Never trust a seagull to sing. The one thing I wanted to do, I think I can only do as a reaction now. How do I see at the distance? How far am I from Cassius? Uh, he's behind you, and he's about 30 feet up on that tower. 30 feet up? Perfect. Yeah. <clears throat> I would like to cast uh, Infestation on Cassius. Turn him around? Yeah, turn, turn him around. So, how, how, what's the range on that? 30 feet. <clears throat> okay, so, but he's, he's 20 feet, uh, he's 20 feet a, oh, away from you, right? Right, okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, yeah, actually he's about 30 feet away, straight, yeah, if he were straight across, but he's also 20 feet he's up. He's also up. Yeah, so All I don't right. know what that, if that equals like 40 or well, 50. Then I'll just do Eldridge Blast. Okay. Someone needs to calculate the hypotenuse. Yeah. <laughs> Please get on that show, Demir. You work at a library. I'm from a sewer. Okay. So hmm. yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do Elder. I want to cast Elder's Blast on Cassius. Okay, roll to hit. You've got plenty of range for that. Never okay. mind. Okay. Zoe is is next. Okay, my turn's done. Uh, okay. Yep. Then it's Zoe. Freaked out. Should have done that okay, well, I'm dang near dead, so I may as well go ahead and do one last little yeehaw here. So let me do this. That, uh, how, how is that uh, Nellion Mac or whatever uh, in front of me? How's he doing? Is he still hanging on just barely? Because we've oh. hit him several times now. Yeah. Um... Yeah, I mean, he, he's he's hurt a little, but he's not like he's not reeling or anything. Okay, is that you think you got him? Because I can turn around and get Mister E back E behind us. On my next move, I was going to uh, cast Healing Word for you on my third level. Oh. Well, okay. Well, that was my plan personally. <laughs> okay. So I'm I'm gonna try to get your hit points back up on my turn whenever that is. Okay. Well. I'll still go ahead and try doing the guiding bolt uh, level two on the Ethax. Yeah, on the Ethax. Okay. I don't like Ethax; they're a pain in my butt. Okay, so eighteen to hit. Uh, yeah, that hits. Okay, and. 14 damage. Wow. Yeah, and he's glowing, so the next one that attacks him will have advantage. And now it's the Righteous's turn. 
So this one flies up another 10 feet towards Jonathan, but Jonathan's way up out of his range. Okay. Uh, this one starts flying back down towards Coaxial, but he doesn't quite make it there yet. He's, uh, I think because he's still up quite a ways. And this one is floating back towards Akrete. There's a hidden seagull under there. <laughs> Walk! We're everywhere. <laughs> yeah. I am Cregion. Cree, Cree. That was <laughs> that was pretty bad. I hear the crowd cheering for us. That's so inspiring. Coaxial grabs a chair, and and uh, throws it at one of the at one of those things. One of the righteous, and misses. And a Crete sees that and and uh, grabs a paperweight and throws that. That actually hits. So four damage, and it's Chertovir's turn. All right, you got a Nolianek in your face, and a weapon in my hand. So I'm gonna yeah. test my luck, and I'm gonna. Okay. You have your this... blade song activated, not to be a nag. That's a, a good. Uh... Thanks, Jonathan, for letting me know. Yeah. <laughs> you squawk from above. Um, okay, let me go ahead and cast. Dance, dance. <laughs> uh, lasts for one minute and gives me a plus three bonus to my AC. So that would be on top of the uh, mage armor that I have? Correct. Okay, so that would be putting me up to, I'll have to deal another customized plus three. Uh, let's see. Additional bonus, another three points on that. So I'm going to roll to hit. Come on, baby. Yes, I got a 19 to hit. Okay, now I'm going to roll for damage. 2d8 plus 3. I got 4. And 6. So that's 10 plus 3, 13. That's 13 hit points. Yep, you heard him. And now it's Musette's turn. Okay, so... I got to uh, do healing word. Um... On Zoe, um, and I want to do it at third level. So level three. Okay, so it says she regains three d four plus three. Okay, so oh. four. So three, four is seven, and ten plus three, thirteen total. All right. Wow. So Thank hopefully you. we're not at death's door anymore. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, I'm about I'm about at fifty percent. I can handle fifty percent. Okay. Can it, does that count as my whole turn, or can I still do an action? Um, is that a bonus action? That spell? I think it is. Yeah. So you you still have an action. Two d six plus three. Okay. So I guess I will shoot that Nolianak in front of me. Okay. Roll to hit. Uh, fourteen. Oh, yeah. plus five, nineteen. That hits. And its damage is 2d6 plus 3, so, oh, damn. 1, 3, 4, 7 total. Okay, and the um, this creature swims up here and grabs at Willem with its tentacles. 18 damage to Willem, and he's grappled. And it pulls him under the water. It's Bentley's turn. So what's Bentley going to do, Rob? He's going to catch the Numa bullet. Okay. Yeah. So it's he put his puts his fist up to his mouth and and uh, blows a, a bullet out at him. At the that hits. Squid Whoever thing. it is, it hits. I think. Did he shoot a Numa? Yeah. Roll damage. <clears throat> oh, he rolled a one, so he got four damage. Oh, oh man. Okay. So this one is charmed, and he's going to try to get out of it again. But he did not. This guy has to make another wisdom saving throw because he's inside of the uh, inside of the radius of the spell. I think he and, and he passed, so he didn't take any damage. And this one is going to run up to Drovo and attack him. 
with his long knives. Oh wow. I think all three of those hit. 13 damage to Robo. And then the other one's gonna attack him. One hit. Five damage. Riley's turn. She does a command on uh, Cassius, and but he uh, he shakes it off. He doesn't doesn't work on him. Is that like a hypnosis thing? Yeah, she says fall, but uh, it doesn't work. And then it's Huzzah's turn. He's gonna cast frostbite on him, and he fails. So he takes cold damage. But just four four points. And now it is the Nullian Axe turns again. This one is going to do its radiant blight on uh, on Churuvir. Hey. Oh, he already cast it once. So he's got to roll to see if he can do it again. He can't. And he's going to use his knives. Uh -huh. Not today, Satan. Two of those hit. What's your armor class now? My armor class is yeah. 19. Okay, they see, yeah, two of those hit. 20. 20 points? Yeah. Oh, okay. Ouch. 20 and points. Yeah, ouch. I just oh, and that actually, no, he's not in the in the the he, the zone, but this one is. So he's going to make a saving throw first. Is it 13 he has to get, or 15 he has to get, right? 15. Yeah. Wisdom? Yeah, so he passed, so he, he doesn't take any damage this time. And he is going to step over here and do his Radiant Blight against Musette. I think, has he cast it already? No, this one hasn't. Are you going to kill all of us? 17 to hit. Does 17 hit uh, Musette? Uh, I want to say my, yeah, I'm, hold on. I want to say, yeah, it is 17. Sorry, my thing went up. Yeah, my class is 17. So. Okay. So you take two, two Doesn't radiant Doesn't Ty go damage. to the defender? What's that? Doesn't Ty go to the defender? No, I think it's the, the attacker. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's defender because I think I lost that argument to you once. <laughs> yeah, because that's the number that you have to get to hit somebody. No, but that was my argument. I don't remember. I remember that this. Argument. I'll look it up. I'm almost one hundred percent sure. That, okay, that was an interesting accusation. There, you said, "Are you trying to kill all of us?" <laughs> that was a way. Yes. Cassius is trying to kill all of you. Right, Cassius. Yeah. Uh huh. No, you're right. <laughs> it is a target. <laughs> So yeah, you take two radiant damage and you need, need to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. Saving throws, constitution. What do I do? I just click the thing? Yeah, you can. There it goes. I got a 19. Yes, so you don't take any additional damage. So you lucked out on that. He wasted Okay, that so I just did two points of damage. Yeah, and that's it. You didn't. Okay. It didn't go into your body and, and, and burn your insides. Yay! Yeah. Uh, this one, yeah, he's just gonna stop right here for now, and it's Willem's turn. He's gonna make a strength saving throw, and he did not succeed. He's still he's still uh, grabbed by the tentacles, and then Drovo is surrounded now. He's gonna keep attacking the same one. Hey, okay, two hits. Us Erethemics are very vengeful. We hold a lot of grudges. 17 damage to that guy. We should beat some Erethemic women. And he's going to do two more attacks by doing the um, unarmed strike. And both of those hit. 15 more damage. And one of those is going to be, he's going to try to do a stunning strike. But he passed. He didn't, he didn't get stunned. All right. Jonathan's turn. All right, I would like to move over Cassius, so I'm still probably 40 or so feet above him, depending on how okay. far it is, because I was 60 feet from the top of the risers. Okay. So, whatever that is, and I'll just try to firebolt him again. 
Okay, you rolled a hit. 13. That missed. But that's bad. He, yeah, he is doing a blade <laughs> song, so his his armor is higher than normal. And it's Ralph's turn. And then Zoe after Ralph. Do we want to take a break? If you like the character artwork for Jericho Squad, check out the art of Asya Yordanova. Shayla Sackinger of Bird Ninja Art. If you like the intro theme, check out music by composer Ben Warren, who's a good friend of the Clive Barker podcast. In-game music provided by Tabletop Audio. Joe and Catalina come from Little Spark Films, who recently helped with Joe Bob Briggs's The Last Drive-In on Shudder. Check out Catalina Carita's Barker and Briefs, where she reads Clive Barker books. She's currently reading Clive Barker's A to Z of Horror, which BarkerCast is also revisiting with our audio commentaries. These make great companion pieces together. And finally, if you want to support us at the BarkerCast, a great way to do that and show us off is the BarkerCast Tee Public Store. We've got a Jericho Squad crew shirt. We've got uh, Cenobium. We've got uh, Marcus's pinhead design. There's all kinds of great designs, and they're, and they're not just t-shirts either. So please go check it out. Uh, get something and support us. Thanks. I was recently asked to help moderate the new Facebook group, Clive Barker Book Club. If you like discussion of Clive's books, you should check it out. This episode is sponsored by Don Bertram's Celebrate Imagination. Don Bertram's Celebrate Imagination shop is dedicated to benefiting the arts and medicine program at Texas Children's Cancer Center. Up to 50% of his proceeds will support the program where artist Don Bertram's volunteers monthly. Don Bertram is a longtime friend of Clive and celebrates and continues to be inspired by his art. He uses that inspiration to help kids through the Texas Children's Cancer Center, and we couldn't be more thrilled to continue to work with him. There's a news feature video that shows Don working with the kids at Texas Children's Cancer Center and his artwork. Click the side banner at www.clivebarkercast.com to find links to the video and his Etsy shop where you can buy his prints, books, and support this wonderful program. Check out his most recent shared painting, Sky Egg, homage to Barker, from his Etsy shop. Yeah, um, okay, so where are we? It's your, it's Ralph's turn. Okay. okay. Um. And you saw this uh, slimy tentacle monster uh, wrap its tentacles around Will Willem and drag him into the water. Well, then where am I? Who's 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 eyes? That's my. He's next people. to you. One of our people. Riley's one of our people as well. Yeah. Yeah. And and that Ethac behind you is sitting down on the ground because he's been charmed. Okay. Charmed. I, I want to move right here. Wait, hold on. I don't see the door. That is ten feet. Right there. Okay. Okay. And this, I can safely do this here and it won't affect anybody. I don't. How far is Riley from me? 10 Riley's feet. Two, huh? 10 feet. 10 feet? Shit. Does right it say there. only creatures that you choose or does it say anybody that's in that area? Each creature in the area. Okay. But you could go around behind the Ethac. Yeah, let's do, do that. that. Let's go right here. Yeah. Okay, that's but good. you'd still be you'd be ten feet away from Willem. Yeah, well, right there. Okay. So yeah, I want to use the arms of Hadar. Okay. You invoke the power of Hadar, the dark hunger, tendrils of dark energy erupt from you, and batter all creatures within ten feet of you. Each creature in that area must make a strength saving throw. On a failed save, a target takes 2d6 necrotic damage 
and can't take reactions until its next turn. On a successful save, the creature takes half damage but suffers no other effect. At mm -hmm. higher levels, when you cast a spell using a spell slot of 2D level or higher, the damage increases by 1D6 for each slot level above first. And I'm a four, and here it says 4D6 cast. Okay. All right. Yeah. So go for it. Um, what what is the what do they have to roll to get out of it? Is it a the with the tax save? The tax save. Uh, for, uh, strength fourteen. Strength fourteen. Okay. So we will start. Is is um, and Willem wasn't in that, right? He shouldn't be now. Okay. Just uh, barely. <laughs> yeah, I guess he is. Okay. It's for the greater good. Yeah. So first we'll start good. with the Ethac. There's this guy across next in front of Chodavir. So strength saving throw. He failed. So how much damage is he taking? Mm -hmm. Three. Four, five. That's eleven. eleven. Twelve. Twelve oh, damage. Okay. Wow. Do I have yeah, to that do guy... that for everybody or do I have No, we'll just keep the we'll just keep the twelve. Okay, cool. Okay, and then it's half damage if they pass? If they pass, it's half damage. Okay, and the creature? Passes, so he takes six damage. Uh, Willem fails. The one that's fighting uh, Chirdo, or Drovo Dovir. Yeah, there's the guy in front of Drovo. There's a guy in front of Shodavir. Hey, not all the Rethemex look the same, all right? I'm taking that. The, oh, that huh? guy? No, never mind. He's too far away. The guy right behind me and this tentacle dude. Owl. Okay, he, he failed. Yeah, I guess the, the Nullianac is also in there. He passed, so he takes six damage. Okay. Awesome. All right, is that the end of your turn? Yeah, that's the end of my turn. Okay, Zoe is next. All righty. What I want to do is I want to try to get that fellow that's behind me that's on his last legs anyway. So I want to do Guiding Bolt. Uh, shoot, I can do first level for that matter. Okay. And you have advantage. I think he's still glowing from the last time he got hit yes. by a guiding bolt. Okay. So roll so. twice and take the higher number. <clears throat> uh, so to hit first, I got 19. Okay. And do it one more time. 12. So let's okay. So you're 19, 19 hits. Okay. And then for damage, 15. Oh, wow. Okay. He is dead. Woohoo! Yay! Good job. I don't know how Rob puts an X on them. <laughs> ah, got it. Okay. You killed him. Yeah. Way well, to go, Zoe. Done. Okay, and after Zoe is the righteous again. <laughs> so this one is flying up towards ten feet towards Cassius. Wow. And this one is doing the same. So they can fly? Well, they levitate. They they can only go 10 feet up. And he's gotcha. about 30 feet up. I thought they were burrowing creatures. No, they 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 look like worms with a um with a vestigial like human head. Yeah. And they they float around. They they attacked uh, gentle when he was in the mountains of Jakalalau. Yeah, they attacked me in the ice cave in the dream. Yeah. 
But yeah, they didn't. They don't burrow. It just looks like it on their picture. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Because that's the closest thing we could find. And then this one is also floating up towards Jonathan, but not close enough. They can only go ten feet at a time. And coaxial uh, runs out and away. And Accrete does the same. And it's Chertovir's turn. All right. Okay, so... <clears throat> Bentley's behind me and Nolianax in front of me. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll use my sword this time, and I am going to... You've got another Nolianax behind that one. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm going to cast a, a Numa bullet. Okay. Yeah, I, I I put my sword in my hilt and I bring my hand to my mouth and I go like, <sighs> and I'm going to roll for hit. Come on, come on. Okay, I got 15 to hit. It hits. Just okay, barely. Awesome. Okay. And now for damage, I go 1d10 plus 3. 1d10 plus 3. Let me get my 10th sided die here. My trusty red sided die. Is this it? Yes, it is. Uh, one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I got a one plus three equals four. Okay. Four damage. It. Yeah. Well, he's hit pretty bad, so. That Numa did not go well. Okay, anything Curses. else? Is that the end of your turn? I want to use uh, Misty Step. Okay. Okay, so that means that I can hmm. basically transport, teleport. Yeah. Oh, wait, am I on the right one? You have to use yours. Oh, no, I have to use mine. Oh, to do it. Hold on, sorry. I've been using this one to look at, but I forgot mine's over here. Okay, so I'm going to go right there. And then, so the range of this is 60 feet. Um, is Cassius and those um, army guys, what are their names again? The blasphemy. The righteous. The righteous. Wow. Yeah, I went with the word blasphemy instead of righteous. Um, okay. <laughs> um, are they within range? Even like with the added height? What, what's the range again? 60 feet. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're good. Okay, cool. Then um, in that specific area, I'm going to cast, it's a, a first level evocation, Fairy Fire. Okay. So it's uh, the uh, attack saving throw is Dexterity 14. And it says each object in a 20 foot cube within range is outlined in blue, green, or violet light. Your choice. Okay, let's go with blue. Uh, any creature in the area when the spell is cast is also outlined in light. It fails a Dexterity saving throw. For the duration, objects and affected creatures shed dim light in a 10-foot radiance. Okay. Dexterity 14? Yeah. Okay, so Cassius failed. One of these guys passed. Actually, all the, all of the, uh, all of the, they, they all passed except for Cassius. Okay. So does he take any damage or is he just glowing? Uh, oh, I was in the middle of reading it when it was, announced okay. it was my turn and it is useless. He takes no damage. Okay. Sorry. But he's glowing. So do they have advantage to hit him though? I guess. Yeah. It says an attack roll against it. Oh, here we go. Any attack roll against an affected creature or object has advantage if the attacker can see it. Okay. The affected creature object can't benefit from being invisible. Okay, right, so yeah. He's glowing. Yeah, he's glowing. So basically anyone who attacks Cassius at this point can uh, has advantage. And and is that just for one turn or is that like all the time? Um it's it just says the duration is concentration up to one minute. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's one minute is ten rounds, so that's a okay. long time. Oh, wow, sweet. that's pretty okay. good. And I am done. Okay. 
Well, this creature is, uh, it's already grabbed Willem and now it's going to crush him with its tentacles. Oh, those were all misses. So Willem manages to wriggle a little bit. Let's see if he can get out. Well, that's on his turn. Okay, Bentley is going to... Anybody who attacks Cassius for the next 10 rounds gets, um, um, He's going to aim at, aim his gun at Cassius. Wow, that's a hit. And then one more. Also a hit. So 20 damage. He see he hits him twice. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Guess they're not friends anymore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Cassius would have been gone down, but he had heal, healed himself when he transported himself up. Okay, and uh, who's next? Okay, we're at the top of round five, and the Ethax again. This guy is just still sitting on the ground. He's going to make try to make another wisdom saving throw. He passes. So that's at the end of his turn, though. So he gets up and he is no longer charmed. And this one is going to attack Drovo again. It's the most logical thing to do. Yeah, he, he, he gets one hit out of three. Six damage. Drovo's getting kind of whittled down. He's starting to look tired. This guy is going to turn on Ralph and attack. This one here. So he hit one time. He, he did uh, six damage to you. <laughs> what reaction are you going to do? Do Hellish Rebuke. Okay. Is, it, is that a saving throw to get out of that? I forget. I think so. It's momentarily okay. surrounded by Hellish Flames. The creature he failed. Take... Okay. Go, go, go ahead and roll damage. Four. Eight. I guess eight. Yeah, that kills him, actually. Sweet. There's still one more behind Drovo that has an attack. And he missed all three of them. Well, Riley could attack this Ethac, but she sees that uh, Cassius is probably the real threat. So she's going to do something to attack him with her rifle. And she has advantage. 21, she hits. 11 uh, damage to Cassius. He took, he, he took a pretty big hit. Okay, and who's next after Riley? Huzzah. If he misty steps up to onto the stands here so she could get closer to Cassius. Frostbite, I mean. So that's a constitution saving throw for him. Well, he fails. So he gets really cold. Nine damage. He is hurt really badly. And now it's the Nullianax turns again. So this one uh, next to Cherdovir is going to do his Radiant Blight. Who's the guy behind Chardovir? Uh That's Bentley. That's Bentley? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So he got a 20 to hit <clears throat> against Cherdovir. Does that hit? What? A 20? Yeah. Uh, my armor class is 19. Okay, so, so you hits. take you take 7 damage and make a constitution saving throw. Uh, 7 damage. Okay. Let me see. There is a, a, a bonus to my conservation saving throw, which is a plus 3 bonus because of my blade song. So, cons cons okay. I get 13... 13 plus 2 constitution, that's 15 plus 3, that's 18. 
Okay, yeah, you see, so you passed, so you don't uh, take the additional damage. Ah, my mage It armor. doesn't get in. Yeah. Glints off of it. And this other one Sweet. is also going to try to do the same thing at you. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm being attacked on two fronts. Actually, he can't, though. So. Oh, the other guy's in front of him, right? No, that's not. Well, he just. He just. It doesn't. The ability didn't recharge, so he can't do it. Okay. He's going to go across this bridge. Is Willem still fighting the slimy creature? Yes. He's he's in the water or still kind of struggling he, to he, he's in the water. He's under okay. he's been dragged underwater. Okay. And this one it goes up here and it's going to attack. Oops. The Aboleth <laughs> is underwater with Willem. Yeah. Hey, Isn't hang that... on. So what was that damage that the other Nolian act did to me? Seven. Seven. Oh my god. I'm down to 11 points. And this one, it's going to attack Bentley. 19 to hit. I think that hits. Failed, so he takes another some additional damage. Eight. Okay, Bentley's hurt really badly. No. And now it's Willem's turn. And he's going to struggle to get out of the uh, creature's grasp. I guess I could summon a familiar seahorse on my next turn, but that would leave me open to the Nolianak. Also, I really don't worry too much if Willem dies. <clears throat> well, he's just the messenger. Well, you're in. I don't know, man. He's, he's about to die. Oh no. Well, I still hate well, Cassius, so I still have that scroll of teleportation. Yeah, but also, like, won't those uh, people be pretty mad? That you know, you let their friend die. Uh, well, there's nothing I could do. It was in combat. I couldn't do anything. Well, I mean, Sotavir, if you can, you, you can don't, teleport. Don't give Ryan ideas. <laughs> hey. Put me on the hook with the there, hell. There's nothing I could do. <laughs> hey, you know, we got dragged in the water, man. I didn't. I couldn't do anything. Yeah. Right. You haven't even attacked Cassius either. Reptile. Yeah, that's true. You got all these extra abilities for fighting Cassius, and you're just staying in one place. Well, I got a freaking, <laughs> I got a freaking Nullianak in front of me. Okay, I'm down to 11 hit points. One of them yeah, hit me like 20 points or something. Like, I got to focus on what's in front of me. Mm -hmm. All right, it's Drovo's turn. <clears throat> He's going to attack this guy again. Wow, natural 20. Yeah, he hit uh, one of them's a natural 20, which is good because he is about to go down. 24 damage to that guy from one hit. I can't help but imagine that Musette is cooing to Willem as he drowns. Dude, he's like on the other side of the flipping, flipping thing. Yeah. yeah. So this guy is dead. Dead. All right. And then he turns around and attacks this other one. Those attacks are hard. And that one was also a hit. And twelve damage to that one. And he's gonna do two more attacks with another uh, flurry of blows. One of those hits. Eleven damage. Kicks him right in the face. He's gonna try to do stunning strike on the last hit. But he didn't get stunned. Cassius. Sorry, I'm having difficulty. He, he's he's in trouble. So he's trying to think of a last ditch effort type of thing to do. He could try keeling over and die. <laughs> I'll take that under advisement. <laughs> that would really help out. He's going to cure wounds on himself. It's Jonathan's turn. So how beat up does Cassius look? Well, he, he was at death's door, and now he looks a, a little bit better. <laughs> <sighs> mm. 
You have you had your flock of seagulls was going to attack him, right? Oh well, I am the flock of seagulls, and I've been using firebolt because it actually works out better than oh, attacking. Okay. But I was thinking, depending on how uh, beat up he looked, I was going to try something different. How about we do that? I'm going to use three sorcery points to cast okay. Hold Person as a heightened spell so he gets disadvantage on the saving throw. Okay. Oh. And that is DC 15 will save. Wisdom? Yes. My age is showing. With disadvantage. Okay, he, he got two nines plus seven. So well, that's, that's sixteen, yeah. That's okay, so he, he 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 passed. Okay, it's Ralph's turn, and then Ooh. Zoe after Ralph. Um okay, so uh Abeleth has uh Willem underwater, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, Ralph can hold his breath for 15 minutes underwater as one of his skills. Oh, okay. So I'm going to, Ralph's going to dive in. Okay. And, he, he, and he's going to hit, and he wants to get uh, Abeloth with uh, Eldridge Blast. Okay, uh, roll to hit. 18 plus 24. That, yeah, that totally hits. 24, and then I want to do a bonus attack. Okay. Uh, well, what's the damage on the first one? Oh, on Eldritch Blast? Mm-hmm. Okay. What's the bonus? Hungry Jaws. Once oh, for okay. Sure. Yep. Is that, uh, that's biting him? Huh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Roll to hit. If it hits, you gain two temporary hit points. Oh, cool. It would have been 18. So it would have been 18. That hits. Okay. Okay, Only you uh, can take a bite out of slime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have more in damage? common every game session. <laughs> I'm not even sure I would eat that. How much damage did you do with your bite? Five. Okay, and then you get two temporary hit points, right? Well, plus five. Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, yep, you, you heard it. Cool. And Zoe's turn. Okay, now I can do spell, then movement, then bonus action, correct? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can do them in any order. Okay, first things first. Uh, first level guiding bolt against this last little jerk down here at the bottom of the screen. Okay. Rolled a hit. It didn't hit. Got a nine. Oh. Okay. Okay, well, that was a waste. Okay, so I'm just going to move... Okay, he gets an attack of opportunity if you move. Okay. Well, I need to do healing word on one of the two, either Bentley or Chertivir. Who's who's worse off right now? I don't know how bad Chertivir is. Chertivir is at 11. I got 11 out of 45 hit points right now. Ooh. Bentley is at, is at 8 out of 45. Dang. I would argue that Chertivir is a real person, though. <laughs> I don't. Hey, I, dis I, I disagree. I want to watch from space with Bentley after this. <laughs> no, I don't know none if that's are, meta gaming, but <laughs> none of you are real people. <laughs> yes. We're but all a Bentley figment of Ryan's imagination. Waffles. Exactly. Even, There's I'm not even a fake involved. person. And he likes movies from 1998. <laughs> well, he he gets movies from 1998. <laughs> he, 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 he likes whatever he can get. Okay, well, I'm gonna. All right. Let me see. There's one other thing I can. I need to look at real quick. Okay. Well, what I'll do, I will. We'll go ahead and let him do his uh, opportunity okay. strike against me, because I am moving. So just a reminder that the worst film of '98 was Spice World. I find that highly unlikely. Was that? Is that according to? Uh, Rotten Tomatoes? That's according yeah. to everybody. It's according to Wikipedia. Uh, 1998 Stinkers Bad Movie Awards Wikipedia page. But it's got fun music. It also yeah, has I, the Blues Brothers 2000 as one of the worst movies, which I, I, I bet, can't. 
Yeah. So you you I take bet five in damage. retrospect we could find something worse. Five damage to uh, Zoe. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna do healing word first level. I mean, I've seen Spice Started World. Here. I don't know if you guys. Saw I can revivify also, so I'll. Just I did not. <laughs> Uh, ten. Oh wow. Okay, T- ten to who? A uh, church of ear, healing Thank word. You. Doesn't it affect more than one person? No. Yeah. It's it's a touch, I believe. Healing word. You don't have to touch uh, them. One it's... creature of your choice, and I use. I first use. Well, I, I I wanted to use one of my first level slots, so it's it's just one. Oh okay, but. You don't have to touch them. I think healing word no. is a yeah. Okay, so he but, but sure, sure to here gets ten points. Hey, thank you. You said, you said five on mine. I lost five. Is that what you said? Yes. I'm back to twenty one, baby. Okay. All right. As soon as I get rid of this Nullianak, I'm gonna I'm gonna attack Cassius. Okay, this one comes up here also trying to protect Cassius. And that's it. And how how high up is Jonathan right now? I was 60. So I think okay. the uh, righteous are 40 behind if they're coming directly for yeah. me because it's been two rounds in there. They they gave up trying to chase you. Now they're just trying to circle around uh, around Cassius. <laughs> they only go like ten feet up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They can't catch you. They're not super bright, but they're not that. Can't bright. catch us. Yeah. Magic tapeworms. That's what I call them. They yeah. they can't catch y'all. Y'all. Y- yo yeah. yo. Okay, it's Trudovir's turn. All right. Um. Damn, this this Nullianak in front of me. Curses. Um, I will attack with a spell. Chromatic orb on this mf Uh that 19 hits. plus... Oh, 26. Okay, wow. 16. Wow. Okay. Pretty good. 16. I hit him again for 16. Gosh darn it, okay. how many points does this guy have? Yeah, he's, he's hurt pretty badly now. Yeah. Okay, and... Uh, next is is that it for your turn yes that is it i want to stay in line with cassius and uh musette's turn okay and musette yes. you teleported somewhere right where i forget where you oh there you are yeah i'm, I'm over here by drogo um but i have a question about the last spell i cast since it was concentration oh shit i'm not even in the thingy i don't know where i went sorry right there you're, you're across the no, river. I'm talking by... about my person. Oh. oh. Okay. Hi. I'm sorry. Okay. So, um, yeah, since it was a concentration spell, if I drop the spell and I do a different one, does that mean that uh, everyone loses that? Um, that. Um, Buff? Um, yeah. The advantage. Yeah, the advantage. Thank you. The advantage. But only if you do another concentration spell. If you right, cast another yeah. spell that's not I was just double checking yeah. on that. Right. Yeah. No, yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. cuz like basically all my good stuff is concentration spells. Yeah. So, I guess we're just going to do an action and I'm just going to shoot the Othax C. <laughs> Sorry, let me turn myself around. Okay. I turned around because I didn't know the answer to that question. I okay. thought I yeah. Anyway, okay, we're just going to uh shoot shoot Othax C. Okay. Roll to hit. Nineteen plus. Okay, so I got a twenty-four. That hits. Okay, and two D six plus three. Okay, six. Six. Oh, fifteen. Okay, yeah, he's hurt badly. And now the uh, the undersea creature is going to decide whether it wants to let go of Willem and attack. Uh, and attack Ralph instead. Yeah, it's gonna let go of Willem and attack Ralph. Wow, one of them's a natural one. 
So two misses and a hit. And let's see what happens with the misses with the miss first though. Critical failure. He ta he takes a level of exhaustion. So you take 13 damage from a tentacle. Dang. And uh, make a constitution saving throw. So uh, 10. Okay. You've been diseased. Hold on. Wait, did you, you said 10 total, right? Not 8 plus 10. Correct, correct. Okay. But, damn it. Actions, limited use. When you wear the... Wear, when the wear of your talisman fails an ability check, they can add a D4 to the roll, potentially turn the roll into a success. This benefit can be used three times, and all expanded uses are restored when you finish a long rest. So, um, since that was an ability, add, right? You're going to add D4 to the roll? Yeah. Okay, go for it. Two. Uh, still failed. <laughs> yeah. Joe, you only you you already had a ten to begin with, so the highest you could have added was four anyway. You still would have failed. I would have. Oh, uh, well, then it was four, right. fourteen would have passed. Oh. oh, fourteen would have passed. Okay. Yeah. I still have two more tries with it. Oh, cool. But okay. not right now, of course. But the the disease doesn't have an immediate effect on you. Mm. Okay, and now it's Bentley's turn, and he's gonna just um, well. Yeah, I think this Nullianak is probably the more dangerous enemy right now to in, immediately to his friends. So he's going to fire his gun at the Nullianak. Oh, yeah, they both hit. Okay. 13 damage. That one's dead. It had exactly 13 hit points. I know. Wow. Oh, finally. That's, that's the end of Bentley's turn. Good job, Bentley. I give him a thumbs up. I look back and All I give right. him a thumbs up. <laughs> he does a thumbs up back. Yeah, and, kind and of standing around you, like all all busted up with eight he points. Gives, he gives you the Boba Fett nod. <laughs> okay, uh, and now it's the Ethax turns. This one is going to attack Drovo again. One hit. How's my brother doing? Not very well. Okay. Seven. He just took seven more damage. Oh, but he's not down yet. Okay. And Riley is going to fire her gun at this uh, creature. Council member packing heat. Yeah. He snuck it in. <laughs> he didn't want to go heard. through the metal detectors. Yeah. <laughs> so both both attacks hit. Actually, she's firing at one and then the other. Because I think she's going to kill both of them. And damage to one of them. Nah, she's going to attack the, the same one. Then more damage. So that one's dead. I owe the crowd sternly, uh, uh, thinking that they're cowards for not doing anything to help us. <laughs> like, Jesus, at least boo Cassius or something. <laughs> they they no. ran. They, they mostly took off. To motivate him. Spitballs at him. <laughs> they exercise their power by voting. Yeah, okay, it's it's Huzzah's turn. A lot of good that's doing now. What? Voting. <laughs> oh yeah, he's gonna do mass cure wounds again on everybody that's all of her friends that are within sixty feet. Mm -hmm. Oh, that excludes me. You didn't pick up your weapons. So Drovo will get, will get it. I will get it. I don't think she knows that you, that you're a friend. Okay. She's just what's that bird doing up there? Yeah. Thirteen. So uh, Drovo gets thirteen back. So my question is, how do seagulls ever make it into the Imagica? Do they cross through the the Fifth Dominion in here, or what? One there, of the great there, mysteries. There, but, no, I mean, it says in Imagica that there are some animals that are in common uh, across all of the dominions. 
We someone brought some seagulls and they kind of bred. And, and there are seagulls on the cover art of both the magic and novels. So yeah, it was confirmed they exist there. <laughs> I found evidence. <laughs> oh yeah, both volumes of the magic and novel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if any animal was going to exist across all planes of existence, I think seagulls would do a pretty good job. I and would vote for cockroaches, but yeah, cool. Bentley ah. just just rolled. I wonder if that was Rob doing that. Okay, but anyway, what was I doing? Oh yeah, so Drobo got healed. Bentley's too far away. Ralph, let's see. Yeah, Ralph can take it thirteen hit points back. What's happening? You get thirteen. You're healed for thirteen hit points. That's Woo! awesome. Let's see if Riley needs it too. Oh yeah, I see the yeah. seagulls around the Zordorex. Cool. Okay, that's her turn. And now the Nullion X turns. This one is going to go up to Riley and do the Radiant Blight. So six damage to Riley. And she has to make a constitution saving throw. And she passed, I <laughs> think. But anyway. so he's att attacking Bentley. Oh, uh, no. With his knife. Bentley alone! <laughs> <laughs> Someone can meme that. Yeah. Don't worry. If he dies, I won't let him stay dead. He missed with all three of his knives. Yeah, what a loser. <laughs> okay. Uh, Willem is going to climb out of the water and start You hitting fucking over. asshole! <laughs> I came over wow. there to help you. Oh, Willem's, Willem's leaving you? Yes! <laughs> and he's going to bite one of these creatures. <laughs> wow! And, and he, he missed, and... He's very mission-focused. Oh, he's plus eight. Actually, he hit with both of those. Okay, he killed it. I'm glad to get more of these things off of the board. And then he'll bite the other one. And he hit that one. Ooh, he's getting and ready to just died. take Cassius back. Yeah. So he killed both of those. And that's the end of Willem's turn. And Grovo is going to attack that guy. The Ethac. One, one of them hits. The nine damage to him. To the Ethac. And he's dead. Okay, so no more Ethax. And Drovo is going to run over here and start climbing up the um, the thing, get it to get towards Cath Cassius. Oh. Well, shoot, now Drovo's too far away for me to, uh, to give him some hit points back. Oh. Bye, Drovo! <laughs> <laughs> And now it's Cassius's turn. <laughs> uh oh. He's got too many things to choose from. Yeah, I want to know who this guy is right up here. Who's that? What guy? At the very top. Right next to the river. Oh, yeah, that guy's got a, a VHSC camera. He's a cameraman. Oh, he, okay, cool. At least we're documenting he, this. Yeah, he's just been filming the whole time. <laughs> trying not to wet his pants. <laughs> uh, so he is going to do Searing Smite and attack um, Drovo. So long, Drovo. Yeah, that hits. Eight damage plus the Searing Smite damage. That sounded good for your brother, Cho <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 24 damage. Jeez. Oh my god. Oh, there goes Drovo. Yeah, he's uh, unconscious. Drovo falls. I've got Revivify if somebody can, uh, you know, make a hole for me to get through. Okay, but he falls down on the on the uh, tower. He doesn't fall off of it. The uh, Jonathan's turn. Oh wait, actually, he has more than one attack. 
Who else can he hit? Nobody really. I don't think there's anyone in the way. Oh, hey, hey, well, he could okay. run over here and hit Willow. We have a left. Yeah, so that's what he's going to do. He's going to attack Willem. That's a hit. 10 damage to Willem. Willem is uh, down. Hey, there was nothing I could do. <laughs> and vengeance is up to the seagull. Oh, man. Is he, like, You're down like dead? You're going to be in so dead? much trouble. Or is he down like dead? Or, or, or can we bring him back? Or what? Right, Yeah, right now he's unconscious. He's unconscious. Okay. okay. Does he have life-saving throws? Yeah. Okay. It's my soul on the line, guys. Okay, it's uh, Jonathan's turn. Well, because my brilliant plan of paralyzing Cassius and carrying him off in a flock of seagulls didn't work. Um, I think I'll take a more direct approach. It's going to fly up to about 90 feet, or 80, okay. and then cast Chromatic Orb as a second level. And okay. cash was. All right, roll to hit. I think that hit. 22. Uh, yeah, that hits. Also, 22 acid damage. Jeez. Okay. Okay. Yep, he's hurting again. And it's that Ralph's will be my turn. turn. Okay. But Ralph gave me directions this time. Uh, so he wants to Eldritch Blast the Aboleth. Okay. Uh, roll to... At, he's at point-blank range. Okay, roll to hit. Okay. Two. <laughs> okay, that I'm misses. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry! Dang. All right, Zoe's turn. Shouldn't he get two Eldritch Blasts by now? At two beams at fifth level. Oh. Yeah, oh. so he's got he's got a second one. Okay. Yeah. So are they both gonna hit the same guy? Yeah. Okay. Roll again. Okay. Eleven. Oh, plus six. So seventeen. I think that hits. Huzzah! Yay! Okay. <laughs> thank you. For that. And we, I need to tell him that when he comes back. Okay. One d ten plus three. Um, five total. Okay. All right. That hurt it. Is he going to move or stay where he's at? That was the only direction I got, so I guess he's going to stay. Okay. And it's Chertovir's turn. Yeah. Okay, so I got on my spells, like, third level uh, chromatic orb. Okay. It says plus seven to hit, 5d8 damage. So let me go ahead and roll that. What are you attacking with it? Cassius. Okay. What's the range? Okay, 90 feet. Uh, oh, yeah, you can hit him. Because I just did that. Okay, okay, so let's go you ahead. You still have test. advantage. Yep. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, okay, so yeah. I'm rolling. Melt him. I got 20 to hit. Oh, did, okay. Did, did you guys skip want, over me? Do I want to roll again, or is this enough? Oh, man. Uh, I can roll again. Hang on. I got oh, yeah, we did. You were you were after Ralph, so you'll, you'll go next. <laughs> okay. So I was like, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not going to cast anything. All right. Well, do you, yeah. Do you want to finish that then? I mean, you just got a you just got a twenty to hit. So I did. Yeah, I I rolled twice and I got twenty both times. Oh wow. So and now let's roll for damage. Okay. Ooh, ho 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 ho! Twenty four points of damage on Cassius. Oh. Woo. Cassius is unconscious. Yes. Yes! So he gets hit by uh, acid damage? Yeah, yeah, acid damage. Yep, yep. Okay, yeah. Melt that B. Yeah. Okay. Okay, he's okay. unconscious. Cool, cool. Yeah. Next next step, and magic now, scroll of portal. And now it's, uh, yeah, well, do you want to do anything else with your turn? Um, Can I use that scroll of portal and cast it like around... Oh, wait that's a minute, my brother. That's an action to cat to do that. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, I would can, like to move. You can move. Yeah. I would like to move. Let's see. Um, I can walk. I can walk a little more because I got an extra 10 feet due to my... If you want to try to song. jump the river, you can uh, You can make an acrobatics check. Okay. I'll or an, an athletics check, I mean, to jump the athletics river. Athletics check. 
So athletics. Okay, I'm not super athletic, but I got a four. Okay, <laughs> you tripped and fell into the into the wall. <laughs> okay, that's not very good. I just yeah. Uh, okay, so I'm in the water. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. All right, there I am. But uh, yeah, you can use you you can just take half your movement to get out of the river. Okay. And okay. So I'm going to get out of the river and I'm staying here on the bank then. I can't move okay. any further. Okay. Gotcha. All right. And uh, just, just a quick question. I look at the tower. How, how do you get up the tower? Is there like stairs on the bottom or something? Well, Drovo just climbed it, but he's got, he's got monk scales. Oh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. I think there's a staircase inside of it from mm -hmm. the, in the stands. Uh, on the other side of the river, I still have a direct line of sight to Cassius. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, kind of. He's lying down on there, so he's a little harder to see now. Yeah, yeah. I yell out, Drovo, finish him! <laughs> Dro Dro Drovo is unconscious also. Oh, oh dang. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All okay, right. Um, Take this yeah. to your children of here. So okay. Zoe's turn. Sorry, Zoe. Okay. I'm excited. Well, uh, what I want to do is I want to move down one and take care of Bentley here. I want to do, where is it? Healing well, Bentley work. was unconscious too, wasn't he? I've got, well, I've got Revivify. I can wake him up. Yeah. Oh no, he's not unconscious. He's just hurt really badly. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, healing word, level one. Okay. And eight. Eight. Okay. Awesome. And for a bonus action, oh, come on, get up there. Bonus actions. I'm doing spiritual weapon. And that way, I can do a melee attack against that little weirdo down the bottom. Cool. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, twelve to hit. That missed. Ah. Oh well. All right. And after Zoe and Chertovir is Musette. Okay. So. I guess I gotta wait. What did I? Oh yeah. Um, do I need to move in order to get to um, Drovo? Um, my radius is sixty feet. Uh, you oh, you want to be able to touch him? Uh, he, I want my spell to be able to get to him. He's up on the tower, so I don't, and he's lying down, so I don't know if you can. You you might be able to see him. It's tough. Yeah. But I mean, like. I know he's lying down, right? So mm. if I move just a little bit closer, would I still be able to like reach him? Uh, yeah, yeah, you can. Okay. So, okay, you know what? That's not gonna wanna, that's being kind of a jerk right now. So we'll move a little bit closer and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do healing word. Um, okay. So he regains two D four plus three. Okay. Uh, four, two, six, nine total. All right. So Drovo is is uh is back conscious again, with nine hit points. Okay. And that is my turn. Okay, and um, the creature in the water is going to he stares at, at ralph mm -hmm. make a wisdom saving throw wisdom saving mm -hmm. 12. okay so you are uh enslaved plus my plus my uh pack of uh pack boon which is a d4 so oh okay what it's 10. Was it what I say? 12? Yeah, 16 then. So 16. Oh, 16. Yeah, you're not enslaved. Sweet. 
Okay. And Bentley is going to turn around and attack this uh, Nullianac. Automatic pistol again. I think those are both misses. No, wait. Eight. What's eight plus six? Fourteen. That missed, I think. Yeah. He missed both shots. Well, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Yeah. And... <laughs> Riley's turn. And she's got a Nullianac bearing down on her. Is that you're just a floating half head? <laughs> Missing an eye. Yeah. Who, me? No, Musette. Oh, oh, I see. Go. I don't ben. know what. Totally gone. And okay, maybe if I scoot <laughs> back, does that change it? No? Okay, we'll figure it out. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> Ow. Okay. I'm gonna cast command on it. So it it uh, it's it succumbs to the to the command. So her command is run away. And so it turns from her. Is uh get a misty step down here by Ralph and your wounds. Oh, thank you. Six, 17 points you get back. Oh. And fully healed. I have the power. So she was here. He had to go in the water. Okay, this Nelly and Ack is going to run 60 feet. He goes up into the stands. This one is going to attack Zoe. Sorry, I didn't do that right. Of course! <laughs> <laughs> 15, does that hit? Yeah, my armor class is only 14. Oh, okay. So you take two uh, damage and make another constitution saving throw. Eight. Okay, and then you take another eight damage. All right, I am down to four points, babes. Okay. Oh, shoot. And the other... Oh, and that's it for them. And Willem is going to make a death saving throw. He passed. And Drovo gets up kind of groggily and, and uh, sees Cassius is unconscious in front of him and he grabs him and throws him off of the uh, off of the tower. Yeah! <laughs> so he lands on the table, smack, and he takes a and he takes an automatic failure on his death saving throws. Go get him, show of fear! Yeah! <laughs> Never add up the hours of gameplay that you have on Steam because I just figured out I'm, I'm wasting my life. <laughs> 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 oh man wow. yeah don't ever do that and now it's Cassius' wow. turn and he did another death save okay it's Jonathan's turn alright I will I guess not swoop hold altitude to here the uh, firebolt the uh, neck 22 oh yeah that hits or 11 fire damage. And that, I think, is it. Big flame-spouting flock of seagulls swoops over. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ralph's, Ralph's turn. Oh, man. Like, Bentley is facing off a Nullianac, and he's hurt bad. Yeah. But Zoe is with him, too. I'm coming okay. to save him! And, okay, and, okay, okay. Uh, and Jonathan. All right, so Abeloth, Abeloth, yeah, I'm gonna, hit, I'm gonna hit it with another Eldritch Blast. Okay, uh, it rolled a hit, and and uh, we discovered that you actually every time you cast that, you can do two of them. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. So it's 24, 
24 that hits. Hit. Yep, it hits. And then, so that's four. Okay, and you get so, one more. But you get another one. Oh, I got to roll them, but I got to do it again. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's uh, 11 as the hit. Okay, that misses. That misses. Oh, that, misses. that one okay. misses, okay. Zoe's turn. Okay. Wheel. Okay, can I do... I know the bad guys did, like, a healing spell on themselves. Can I do a healing spell on myself? Yeah. Okay. Well. I will do... Healing word on myself. Uh, level two. Twelve. All right, you get twelve points back. Good. Yay. And it's Chertovir's turn. All right. Unless there's some. Well, healing word is a bonus action. You can still do an action. Oh, all right. Well, let's do this then. <laughs> I really, 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 really want to kill that thing. Yeah. So, let's do Guiding Bolt. Okay, roll the hit. 17. That hits. Just barely. You know what? I will take just barely. 14 <laughs> yeah. damage. Alright. That's pretty good. And he's glowing again, so the next person that attacks him gets advantage. And now it's Trudovir's turn. Okay, I have see, two spell. Mm -hmm. You see Cassius lying on the table in front of you. Oh, I've been looking at that guy. Uh, so I have two spell scrolls in my inventory. One says first level, the other says sixth level. I think the sixth level is the portal to the abyss. Yeah, that's the gate spell. Okay, well, I walk slowly like a badass, jump on the table. Okay. Turn on to Cassius's unconscious body and I open the scroll and I read it. Okay, uh, yeah, a, a, a big portal appears in front of you. Uh, and and um, it looks like it leads to a kind of a black, uh, rocky, craggy area that you can see. And you, you see also um, Ma Magera and- um, Her husband, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, uh, waiting there on the other side. Okay, well, um, so Willem is still kind of trying to save for his life, right? W Willem's unconscious, yeah. Willem's unconscious. So, okay, so I pronounce to them, I proclaim to them, uh, powers of the gulf, I have come to pay my, my debt. Here is a soul uh, of, of this man, Cassius Breyer. Uh, please take it and release me from my bond. Uh, and also Willem is kind of like in trouble. And I, I kind of, I kind of push Cassius into the portal. Okay. Um, you roll yeah. him in. Yeah. You, roll him you, with you, my can, foot. You, you can do that with half of your movement. Okay. If you, I mean, it'll take half, it'll, it'll have your movement to do that. I mean. To throw yeah, Cassius you're, in? You're, you, yeah, you're able to kind of push him in his unconscious body inside. Okay. And and now it's Musette's turn. Oh, well, I was actually just going to um, go ahead and help out uh, Willem. Okay. With, let's see. Oh, I have tons of slots there. Okay. With another healing word. Okay, 1d4 plus 3, uh, 5 total. Okay. Well, that's enough to wake him up. Okay. So he's uh, he's conscious now. Um, and I had a question. The, uh, let's see. Oh, well, wait, hold on. Okay, the Avalith. What happened to that Nolianak that moved? They ran into oh. the stands. Yeah he, yeah, he ran up into the, into the stands. But where in the stands? He's oh, he's kind of hard to see. He's here. Oh, he's, he's that one right there. Feet. Okay. Yeah. I thought so two he's, Okay, so he's super flipping far away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm... Um, okay. 
Yeah, and the battle's not going too well for them now, so I don't know if he's going to come back. <laughs> okay. I was going to fly him down. Well, let's see. Push him back escaped. over the... Yeah. Um... Okay, I don't want to do that. I want to do that. Let's do that. Where's my... Oh, here we go. 50 feet. If I shoot the Aboleth, that's 50 feet, right? Or is that too far away? Oh, you could... I think your your range is good enough to do that. Let me see. Okay. Yeah, you're good. good. Yeah, yeah, we're fine. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to shoot the Aboleth. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Roll to hit. Uh, 18 total. That hits. Okay, 2d6 plus 3. 1, 6, 7, 10. 10 damage. All right. And it is its turn. And now it's being assaulted on three sides. It is going to... Since it's master, it's gone. It's going to start swimming this way. And Ralph, you get an attack of opportunity, and Huzzah does. Yes. My attack of opportunity was simply just a bite. <laughs> okay, roll to hit. Nineteen. Okay, yeah, that hits, and she hits also. Do I roll damage? Yeah. Four. Okay. And she did also four damage. And it swims through the grate and uh, disappears. I really wanted to kill that thing. <laughs> it would have taken a really long time. Yeah. Okay, and then it's Bentley's turn. He is going to... Uh, he's Make got this me proud, Nelly Bentley! Still, still on him. He's going to fire his gun again two more times. Okay, one of them hits. So nine damage to that. And Riley, where is she? She's going to come over here and help uh, Huzzah get up out of the water. And Huzzah is going to get out of the water and, and take Ralph, try, try to take your hand and help you get out of the water too. Hey, thank you, Riley. And the Nullion X turns. So this one in the stand. Where is he? Oh, okay, there he goes. There he goes. I just realized I was caught on VHS camera sending someone to hell. <laughs> That's not he, a good look. Uh, he runs off. This one is disappearing. I think Bentley has some new uh, movies to watch. Yeah. Supernatural snuff film. Well, he was there. And this one attacks Bentley. Eight plus eight is 16. I think that hits. Yeah. Bentley took a hit here. And he's got to make a constitution saving throw. Uh, 11. He failed. Ah! Uh -huh. Ten more damage. And Bentley is, is unconscious. Again! Uh, <laughs> aren't you glad I'm right there, Bentley? <laughs> yeah. Wow, this is a long fight. Yeah, it's getting near the end, though. <laughs> There's only one left! Come on, get out here and kick his butt! <laughs> I'm just imagining the hell people just looking at the portal, seeing the guy plop down and be like, huh, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what was that? And, and he was perfectly unconscious. He wasn't dead yet, oh. but he wasn't moving. Yeah. And Willem, uh, Willem got up and went into the portal, and and I think Cat uh, Cherdovir is the only one that can see it, but he starts wrapping up Cassius in a cocoon. Nice. <laughs> hey, everybody! He's wrapping Cassius in a cocoon. <laughs> <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> Giving us we, updates. <laughs> we got this. And uh, Drovo starts kind of working his way down the uh, tower and back into the... Oh, boy. That's going to be a doozy to explain to my brother what I just did. 
he, he just just telling me had a head injury. You know, you got hit really hard. You were up and down. I don't know what you think you saw. The sun cut dry. Yeah. After how you handled the beginning of the election, I'm I'm gonna take your advice to the grain of salt. It's uh, it's Jonathan's turn. Um, is the advantage is gone off of this noise act, right? No, I don't think bolt. so. No, I think it's still on there. Okay. All right. Then I'm just going to chromatic chord again. Okay. Because that's there until um, until Zoe's next turn, I think. 721. That hits. Ooh, 17. Oh, wow. Acid damage. Dissolve those little fingers right off his head. He is dead. <laughs> He's dead. Finish him! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> the fingers just melt and the lightning goes out. Yeah. Did we just lose uh, Joe and Catalina? Maybe. Yeah, I don't see him. Kicked off our internet. That's what they said. Uh oh. Yeah. It's okay. okay well, I guess we can. We can continue and just. Yeah, well, and, and, uh, there's there's nobody else to fight. Uh, yes. You're out of combat. Um, so the the portal will only stay up for for just a few more seconds. I don't know if you want to go through, or do you want to <laughs> stay where you're at? <laughs> Why? I actually, in fact, I jump down from a table and move away from it. Okay. Like, I do like this. <laughs> okay. So, just any, to clarify, are there any people still witnessing this from the bleachers, except for the guy with the VHS? Yeah, just the guy with the VHS camera. I mean, as uh, far as you know, you can't see everybody, but... I'm going to have to give him a squeeze. Oh, boy. Drovo's not going to be happy. Anyway. Oh, they say logging back in. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. So, the, the swishing portal is closing, right? And I, you know, the, 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 what, the demons say anything to me or anything? I just see the, like, Willem wrapping him in a cocoon and taking him to the gulfs. Well, you said you jumped off the table and ran away, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I mean, I can see... still look at the table. Can you see through is. the portal? Uh, you... I guess I can see it at an angle. I'm to the right of the portal on the floor. Okay. Okay, so they don't say anything to me? Well, no, you, like... you, you, you hear them calling to you. They say, Chernovir, approach. Gaustus, that's right. Ga yeah, Gaustus, Gaustus. Yeah, yeah. The, the archangel with the, the broken wing or whatever. Uh, the severed arm. Uh, okay, I kind of approach it. Do I really want to approach it? So that thing will close or not? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's, go, it's but, gonna close in a few in just a few seconds. Oh man, I don't know if this is a trap. Okay, I I'm going to approach the table, but not go on top of it and just okay. like turn sideways to the portal and be like, uh, yes, yes, Ga Gaustus, yes. What is it? They they say uh, he holds up his contract and and you see it sort of catch on fire and burn down and he says our contract is complete. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. I I go like fare thee well. Hope we never meet each other again. It, he nods at you, and then the portal closes. Oh jeez. Hey, I'm off the hook. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna fly with the flock of seagulls over to the guy with the uh, camera. Okay. And just tell him it's very much in his best interest if he uh, gives me that tape right now. Bok bok. State secrets and all, you know, that thing could be dangerous. It's, I'll take care of it for you. He says, nope, that's, I don't know why I'm talking to a bird, but that's not how this works. He says, no, no, that's no, that... not what my job is. My job did is not to give, what just, give my, you... my job he is not to give my idea. tape away to a, to a bird. Did you see what just happened out there? Yes, that's that's the that's why I stayed. You know, you think I would have rather stayed here? It was my job to record the proceedings. Tell you what, you give me the tape, or I'll melt you in your camera. That's not a good idea, Jonathan. 
That is not a good idea, Jonathan. He works yeah, for the I council. And, I approached uh, my brother. Riley and, and Huzzah, they, they, they're there also. And, and Huzzah says, no, no, stand down. This is a s- historical record. Is it like going to be archived in the library or something? Yes. What kind of archival procedures are you taking? You know, is it going to be contained in a climate-controlled locked area? I don't think uh, the kid from the high school is going to be able to check out that tape. Because, you, you know, I don't know if you understand how this works, but this this proceeding was broadcast uh, to the to the homes of all the voters. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> This is threatening me is not going to rewind time and make that go away. Oh, jeez. Okay. Is that a broadcast camera or something? How do they have that technology? Uh, okay. Never mind. Okay. Are, are you saying that to him? You're still standing over by the table. Oh, no. Yeah. No, I approached uh, Drobo. Never okay. mind. That's like, that's not what my character is saying. My character is just kind of like raising his eyes, eyebrows like, oh, boy. Well, we're all fucked. I mean, not necessarily. Let's see. I mean, this guy had Nullion X and stuff. Well, is your uh, character saying that? Yeah. (laughs) Right into the camera. And and Hazar says it, 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 it it was not you who started this fight. Exactly. I think that we just avo- we just avoided the disassembling of our government today. Yes, yes, uh, indeed, we have uh, fought a a tyrannical populist who is trying to not only kill my brother and uh, and. So Mr. wait, Merch. are you over by Drovo, or are you talking to them now? Yeah. <laughs> well, you just, really just said you camera. weren't. You just said you weren't talking to them, <laughs> and then you start talking to them. Well, yeah, but I'm like I'm over here with Drovo, but I'm I'm I can see what's going on over there, and I can hear Huzzah, right? Uh, no, they're like fifty Across feet away. <laughs> well, he tried to besmirch my family name, <laughs> <laughs> and he was a dangerous populist. <laughs> no, you, no, you, you, background. <laughs> you can't hear what they're saying. Okay, gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, you said you they're chose there. to be over there. But... All right. Okay, well, I've turned to my brother Drovo and asked him, are you okay, Drovo? He says, eh, that was rough. That didn't go exactly how I was planning. And he says, and what was that thing that you just did? Where did you send him? Well, Drovo, uh, that's not important. <laughs> What's important right. right now is that... Uh, well, you knew that we discussed something about this over at the at the uh, Jericho Squad headquarters. Uh, y- you knew that I had made a deal with the the Gulfs, right? I mean, and and when I asked if you were planning on sending Cassius to hell, you said no, that was a joke. Well, brother, would you rather I had gone to the Gulfs? I would rather have a brother who doesn't lie to me. Well, I'm not going to lie to you now. I did send him to the Gulfs, but he was a danger to the Imagica, to his Order X. He tried to kill you more than once. Um, he was a bane on, on the Imagica, and I got help get rid of him. I apologize for that, but that was the nature of the deal I made with the Gulfs. And I'm not proud of it, but it had to be done. He says, well, uh, I'm just glad that everyone is okay, or no one died here, as far as, as far as I can tell, none of our, no one, none of our friends have died. Yes, that is good. That is very good. And it seems like now, hopefully, the, uh, the sons of the Aboriginal will, uh, the Aboriginal children will, uh, will dissolve, and, uh, we'll have some more peace, uh, under the rule of a wise leader. I hope so. 
Huzzah rules here in his Orderex. I'm I'm only a representative of the First Dominion. That is, if I win this election. Uh, and then at this point, a a, a a young girl runs out um, into the arena and says, "The votes have been tallied." And she says, "43 percent, Cassius Breyer, 57 percent for Drovo Dovir." Democracy works. <laughs> Waffles for everybody. Yeah. And Huzzah like, says, why Why did so many people still vote for him? Because that's some damn good television. Yeah. <laughs> well, they saw what happened, and I guess that helped make their decision. Um, unfortunately, there's people out there who don't see anything else than surface, and they just... They don't vote with their conscience. They vote with their, you know, I, I don't know. It's, it's hard to explain, but I'm glad he's gone. He's gone to a worse place. That's for sure. Yeah. Speaking of voting with your conscience, I'm going to start uh, pecking at and rifling through the pockets of these corpses. Oh, with, with the whole know. gaggle of seagulls. Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to descend yeah. upon them. A gang of pickpocket seagulls. Yeah. Uh, At least Cassius had some unbelievably awesome magic items that you guys did not take. We're kind of in the middle of something. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess we don't know that as characters, so nobody has to get upset. <laughs> well, he, yeah. he he used a wish spell to get out to to teleport up onto the onto the uh, the tower there because he he had a, a, a sword of luck. That he can cast wish spells with. Oh, he uh, he talked to it, right? He teleported. Yeah. 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 That's fine. I got my ribbon sword. I'm good. I'm good, fam. Okay. All right. So, uh, Benjali says, I think maybe we should get going. Yes. Yeah, I see, but I'm hungry. Yeah. Yes, and, Bentley, uh, indeed. Uh, Riley says, I'll be by to, to talk with you for uh, in a bit. With me? With who? No, with, with the, the group. Everybody. Okay. She okay. was she was looking at Bentley, but I think she meant everybody. Okay. That sounds good. So, uh, I, I, you know, I kind of help my brother along, you know, because he's hurt. Yeah. Yeah, everybody needs time to heal and rest. Uh, and I think at this time we'll we'll uh, stop the stop the game. I'm starting to lose my voice a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm out of soda. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this was fun. This was uh, we did ten episodes, and Ooh. we can we'll we'll see if we want to continue it on again next year. Um, if we want to continue with these characters, or start it again, or if we don't want to do it anymore, that's fine too. Um, this was a great adventure. I really enjoyed damning someone to hell to save my soul. <laughs> who does it? Yeah. yeah. Especially a guy who tried to kill me and my brother and all that stuff. Yeah. It's like, screw him. And, I got to pick. I'll, mm -hmm. I'll figure out experience and stuff like that. It's I, 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 Lately, I do that while I'm editing. I watch what everybody does while I'm editing and kind of figure yeah. out the extra experience points. Yeah. And just like Buckaroo Banzai drove... The Chirdovir will return at some point <laughs> yeah. in the sequel. I yeah. got to figure out if I want to switch from these dice to something more red and black. Oh. Yeah, that's cool. Because I got a whole. I just bunch have of a whole bunch of dice, and then if they're doing badly, I switch them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> these were my dice for the season. Oh, okay. They're kind of cute. Yeah. All right. Well, in this podcast, having no beginning will have no end. Thank you for joining us, and we hope you have subscribed. You can find the Clive Barker podcast wherever you find audio. Show notes for this episode, as well as news and reviews, can be found at our website at www.clivebarkercast.com. The Clive Barker podcast, or BarkerCast, is an independent editorial podcast and blog that is not affiliated with or under contract by Clive Barker or Seraphim Inc., this is a labor of love by the fans for the fans. 
Watch for our annual Kickstarter fundraisers to get some cool stuff, and you can buy t-shirts on our TeePublic store. Go to TeePublic.com and search for BarkerCast. Thanks for listening.